Okay, so this lesson is about lateral area and surface area of prisms and cylinders. Okay, so in order to understand the lateral and the surface area of prisms and cylinders, we need to have a little bit of vocab terms put in first. Um, first of all, this right here and at the top are called the bases. Okay, and the other pieces, so the one on the back here, the one on the back here, and then the front, pay, the front as well, those are called lateral faces. So if we were to open up the, if we were to cut along the edges of the prism and we were to open it up, this is what we would get. We would have an, what's called a net of the prism. Now in this net, this would be a base here and this would be a base here. And the lateral faces would be here, here, and here. You'll notice that there are three lateral faces because it is a three-sided uh, has a three-sided base. It's a triangular base, so that means there's going to be three lateral faces. Okay, so now that we have, we're looking at a net of the um, prism, we'll have a better idea about how to come up with a formula to find the lateral area and the surface area of this prism. Okay, so now here we have our prism over here, and I've laid out the net, as you can see over here. So we have our base, and our base, and then all three of our lateral faces here. Now you'll notice that these lateral faces are rectangles. They actually kind of look like squares the way I have them drawn, but they will at least be rectangles for a right um, prism, which was what this lesson is about. So this, it, the formulas work for uh, oblique prisms as well, but uh, just for the sake of explaining, I'm going to be using right prisms here. So now if I wanted to find the lateral area, that would be just all of the lateral faces put together. Now the lateral area of one of the lateral faces is going to be base times height, right? Because that's how you find the area of a rectangle. So now if we think about all of the lateral faces, adding them all up together, we're going to take all three of these triangles and adding them together. But if you can think about it, the base of each of these triangles, so the base or the uh, rectangles, the base of this rectangle is this side of the triangle, the base of this rectangle is this side of the triangle, and the base of this rectangle is this side of the triangle. So if we were to figure out what this length is here, what it is is actually the perimeter of the base. So that means the area of the lateral faces is the perimeter of the base times the height of the prism. Okay, so that's how we find the lateral area. And to shorten that up, we just say LA stands for lateral area equals PH, which stands for perimeter of the base times the height of the prism. So if imagine, if you will, what the surface area would be, would be um, everything that we did here, right? The lateral area plus the two bases. And that's exactly what the surface area is. Okay, so we have perimeter times height plus two times the base. And um, the base is basically whatever the actual base of the prism is. So in this case, if the base is a triangle, then the base is going to be one half base times height, because that's how you find the area of a triangle. If the base is a rectangle, it'll be base times height. If the base is a pentagon, it's going to be one half apothem times perimeter. And if you don't know the pentagon, if you don't know how to do that, you, I do have a, diff a different video to explain how to find area of a regular sized pent or regular pentagon or regular hexagon or things like that. Okay, so now we're going to move on to cylinders. Um, so a cylinder is very similar to a prism. You, if we laid it out at our net, we would have our two bases here. And if you were to open it up, you would notice that the lateral faces would again be a rectangle. This time, the base of the rectangle is also the same distance around the circle. The distance around a circle is a circumference. So that means that the lateral area of this uh, cylinder is just the circumference of the circle times the height of the um, of the cylinder. Okay, so here we have lateral area is circumference times height, and the surface area is very similar to that of a prism. It's circumference times height plus two times the bases since we do have two circles here that we need to figure out. Now in this case, our circumference formula, remember, is two pi r, 
and the base is always going to be a circle so it's uh, sorry it's pi r squared and then we do have that 2 put in front that's why I almost wrote a 2 there um, so it's 2 times pi r squared okay so now let's put work, so work on a few problems okay so here we have a regular uh, right hexagonal prism and so we want to find the lateral area so you remember that the lateral area is the perimeter of the base times the height. So the perimeter of this base is we have a length of six and there are six sides. So that means that my perimeter is going to be six times six and the height of the hexagonal prism is 10. So that means we're gonna multiply this by 10. So that means we get lateral area of 360 meters squared. Now we're gonna move on to the surface area. Okay, so the surface area is perimeter height plus two B and two times the area of the base. So my perimeter height I found that was up here is 360. So I can just plug that in. And now we need to do two times the area of the base. Now this base is a hexagon right so we're going to be using the formula uh, for finding the area of a regular polygon which is one half apothem times perimeter so here's my regular sized um, uh, hexagon here i have a length of six at each side so that means this piece is going to be three Okay, so this degree in here is 30. Now I can use 30, 60, 90 triangles, or I can use trigonometry. So if I use trigonometry, I would be using tangent of 30 equals 3 over A with just the apothem. And so the A equals 3 divided by tan of 30. Or I can use special right triangles. I know that this length is um, a leg length, and so this height is going to be leg length times root 3. So that means it'll be 3 root 3. Okay, so once I plug in my air, my formula for the um, for the hexagon here, one half apothem times perimeter, then I can go ahead and use my calculator to figure that out, and I get five hundred and forty-seven point one, and there I have my answer. Okay, so on this one we have a cylinder with this whole length here is four. So that means I need to find the radius. The radius is gonna be half, which will be two. And then I have the height of this cylinder, which is five. So first we're gonna find the lateral area. So lateral area is circumference times height, which is two pi r h. So now we're just gonna go ahead and plug that in. So we get two pi two times five, which is 20 pi. And using our calculators, we get 62.83 units squared. So now let's move on to the surface area. Okay, so surface area is circumference height plus two times the area of the bases. Um, we already have our circumference height because we found it up here, it's 20 pi. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug that in. So we have 20 pi for the circumference height plus two times the area of the bases. Now remember, area of a circle, that's what we have here, is pi r squared. So the area of one of these circles is going to be pi, my radius is two squared. And now we just need to simplify. Okay, so we get 28 pi, and when we use our calculators, we get 87.96. Okay, so that's the basics on how to find the lateral area and the circumference, sorry, the surface area of prisms and cylinders. Thanks for watching.